John Muir versus David Brower. It's a risky thing for anyone at the Sierra Club to do. Um, but I got to pick uh, Mr. Brower. You know, he's a person who uh, had my job as the first Sierra Club executive director. So not only did he win dozens of major monumental environmental victories, but he had first ascents of a whole bunch of peaks up and down the West Coast, all the way up into Alaska. And I think uh, revolutionized the environmental movement and helped us to use images and imagery and help to tickle people's imaginations about the place in which we live and how we can best protect it. John Muir's a pretty cool guy too. Solar versus wind. I picked distributed solar uh, as my favorite. When you think about how do we build an economy that is powered by clean energy, and you think about the potential to create a lot of jobs and for people to be self-reliant and produce their own energy, rooftop solar on churches, people's houses and businesses, and factories and warehouses has an enormous potential to revolutionize the way in which we live. Paddling versus hiking. Both. Leave wilderness alone versus tamper with it to save it. Um, that's a tough question. I think that in the 21st century, we need to leave wilderness alone because in a time of great change and a fair amount of upheaval, uh, we're going to need wilderness, untrammeled wilderness, uh, to find ourselves uh, and to reconnect to what's important as a species. Hard one, natural gas versus nuclear. We hope that they fight each other and uh, assure, mutually assured destruction. Thunder Road versus Ghost of Tom Joad. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, as a native of New Jersey, I am required and have fully embraced um, love of Bruce Springsteen. Um, as a political activist, Tom Joad, uh, Ghost of Tom Joad is, well, the story of Tom Joad, from Tom Steinbeck to, uh, to today through Bruce Springsteen, is a powerful one in the American, the American story. But Thunder Road uh, is the story that uh, helped inspire me to leave the great state of New Jersey and make a home in, in California. So it's always going to be number one. Backyard versus backcountry. Depends on how much time you have. Pounding the pavement versus cutting a trail. Pounding the pavement. The, the work of environmentalists in the 20th century, the 21st century, is about organizing. It's about organizing and organizing and organizing. Uh, and getting people involved in local campaigns. Even if those local campaigns are about getting into wilderness. Um, we live in a time when most people care about the environment. They care about clean air, clean water, healthy forests and parks. They want a stable climate. And yet, we do not have political and corporate leaders who live up to those values. So we need to uh, put our power together collectively in order to push and inspire and persuade and force people to make change. And you got to pound the pavement to make that happen.